know what Steve's father is spraying on these plants? What is Steve's mother doing? What is this? What is this for? And why is it in the closet? Moth cakes, ant powder, and this spray are all poison. Poisons to kill insects that could spoil our food or bite us. Poisons to protect flowers, to kill moths that could eat our clothes, and to destroy termites that could chew away the wood in our homes. They protect us from insects that carry disease. Poisons help our community stay healthy, but they are dangerous if not used correctly. It is easy to tell that this sign means poison. These words also warn us to be careful. There are many things around the house that do not have a poison sign on them. Yet they can make you very sick if you were to smell or taste them. The kitchen cabinet holds many dangerous things. Mother uses them to keep our home clean. But unless we handle them in the right way, they can harm us. Always have mother show you how to use them safely. When finished, remember to put them away out of the reach of your younger brother or sister. Always wash fruit before you eat it, for there might be some poisonous insecticide left on it. We can also find dangerous things in other parts of our home. Do not sniff or drink lighter fuel or ink. Do not chew on matches. They can make you very ill. Even your own room can be dangerous. vapor from paint or glue can damage your brain. Use them outside or make sure the windows are wide open so you have plenty of fresh air to breathe. Little girls like to look pretty, but some of mother's good smelling cosmetics might be poisonous. Even simple things like perfume or nail polish can make you ill. Medicines are used to help you get well. But too much of a medicine even though it might taste good, can make you sick or even kill you. You should never, never take medicine on your own. You can 
find poisonous things around the washing machine. Mother uses them to clean our clothes. To stay healthy, never sniff or taste them. Steve likes to work in the garage. It can be a place for fun. But the garage also has poisons around. These protect our garden from snails and bugs. They kill weeds and pests. If you ever handle them, pay attention to the warning signs. There might be fertilizer and plant food in the garage. They help our gardens grow. After Dad uses fertilizer, or any other garden chemicals, he always washes his hands before he touches his face or eats. Your garage may have other poisonous things. Some may have a pleasant smell, but remember, do not sniff or taste them. They can make you very ill, can even kill you. If you use them, be sure they are put away out of the reach of little children. Charcoal lighter is for starting a barbecue fire, not for you to smell or taste. Nature grows poisons of her own, and sometimes right in your own garden. Just a touch of some plants will give you a bad skin rash. If you were to eat some of them, they will make you very ill. Stay away from an oleander bush. Every part of this plant is highly poisonous. So is the castor plant. And its beans. Steve uses chemicals to keep his fish healthy. But what's good for fish is no good for you. Never leave poisonous chemicals out because little sister might put them in her mouth. Steve has a special box in which he keeps the poisonous things he uses. It's fun to make paper cutouts. But never leave poisonous glue lying around. Be especially careful if you have younger children in your house. Always put it away 
out of the reach of others. It's a good idea to have a special box, as Steve has, in which you can lock up your poisonous paints and glues. Spray paints can also be dangerous. Be sure to keep the paint can pointed away from you, so you will not breathe in the poisonous fumes. Steve knows what to do with poisonous things when there are little children around. Now, what have you learned about poisons? What does this mean? Can you name other things in your home that are poisonous? Should you ever, on your own, take medicine from the medicine cabinet? Why should you wash your hands with soap and water after touching poison? Will smelling some kind of glue make you sick and damage your brain? How many poisonous plants can you name? Why should some things be put out of the reach of younger children? Do all poisons have this on them? Remember, if we learn to be careful, we will stay healthy and strong. Many children are poisoned each year. You would not want to be one of them, would you?